All right, so um, we're going to go over an example that basically shows how we can find displacement and direction when we're dealing with vectors. So we have in this example that we're on a cross-country ski trip, and you're traveling one kilometer north and then two kilometers east. Let's draw a first compass up here to make sure we know our directions. So up is north, the right east, left west down south. And so then say we start here. So we go north, so let's draw a vector straight up. One kilometer. And then a uh, vector to the right, two kilometers. So we started at this point over here. And we end over here. So the resultant vector would just be a line from here to here, or a vector from there to there, the straight line. Now, this is going to be then a right angle because we're saying we went straight up north and then to the east. So the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle is going to give us the value of displacement or the magnitude and tell us how far we traveled from here to here. So let's just call it D. So let's start off with that because then we can um, easily calculate this because this is just going to be using the Pythagorean theorem. So we have one squared plus two squared equals D squared. Then we have five is d squared. Taking the square root of five. And we'll get about 2.24. So we're, um, we know that then we're 2.24 kilometers from our starting point. Now we have to look at, at the direction. So the direction is we want to basically know the angle. We started here. Let's put start point. We ended here. But remember, let's think of this as an axis. Extending this is like an origin. We want to know, like, either like what angle we traveled in in this direction or basically the angle going from this axis to the bottom of the vector or you can think of it as the angle from here to here now depending on which one you find the the way you're going to word it the way you're going to say direction is going to be a little different which I'm going to explain in just a minute but let's just first go over how do we find this? So then let's first look at this one up here, this angle over here. Let's call that one theta. What's the value of theta? Now let's remember our trigonometry. So this is our angle. Then this leg is going to be the opposite side. And this side is going to be the adjacent. The adjacent is then one kilometer. The opposite leg is two kilometers. So remember that the tangent function, let's, let's go over here, the tangent of an, of an angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent leg. So we can find the tangent of this angle by taking the opposite leg, which is two, and dividing it by the adjacent, which is one. So in this case, the tangent of theta will be two over one, or just two. But the thing is, we need to find theta. We need to find the angle. 
So let's go. Let's let's me well. Let me put the work over here. So to find the tangent or to find the angle, we basically want to take the tangent inverse. We want to take the inverse tangent, or you can say, of that. Because when you take the, the, the inverse tangent function, you're going to be left with the angle. And that means you're going to take the ta in, inverse tangent of 2. So using our calculator, we can go tangent inverse of 2. We get 63.43. Make sure your mode is in um, degrees, which is it, which in this case it is. So we're good. So the, the angle then is about 63.4 degrees. So this is 63.4 degrees. And then that means that this will be the remaining 26, well, but 26 point, this angle will be 26.6 .6 degrees because these two angles have to add up to 90. So what's the point? So there's two ways to talk about direction here. We can say that you your direction is 63.4 degrees east of north, or you can say 26.6 .6 degrees north of east. They're both going to be correct. So let's let's let me write that out so you can see exactly what I mean. Direction 63.4. Degrees east of north. Because again, this is north and we're going this direction, counterclock or clockwise, 63.4 degrees. Or you can say, again, 26.6 .6 degrees north of east, or north of, yeah, north of east. Either one is fine. I, this one, for whatever reason, makes more sense to me, but do whatever makes more sense to you. All right, so then, um, yeah, oh yeah, and the magnitude is just, like remember the magnitude is just 2.24 kilometers. All right, so there you go. So I hope that helps. Um, any feedback is welcome. Um, this is actually my first physics video, so um, I'm welcome. I'm, I'm always open to, you know, to anything, any tips that can help. All right, so then I'll see you guys in the next video.